Hi, good evening everybody. Today I would like to talk about two electronic components. One is the coil, another one is the transformer. I think these two components many of you have learned in your secondary school. Today's topic, I choose to introduce these two components because it is related to the following video. Let's review back the electrical portion in our secondary physics. Like this diagram, can you see that? When this is a wire, it's a copper wire. When the current is passed through the wire, it will generate a magnetic field. Remember our right hand rule? And the next diagram, it is a coil or so called inductor. When the current passes through in this direction, it will generate a magnetic field with that from North Pole to South Pole. Similar as this shape. The change of the magnetic field is dependent on the number of the coil. If there are more number of coils, the magnetic field will be stronger. This is one of the components. Another component is the transformer. The transformer actually is combined with two coils. This is the coil in primary input, and the other one is the another coil in the secondary output. In between, there is a soft iron coil material. As you know that when there is an AC current passed through the coil in primary input, it will generate a magnetic field at here, at this portion. The AC current is a changing current. This is the AC. So the magnetic field will be also is a changing magnetic field. When there is a changing magnetic field here, the magnetic field will also cut the secondary coil. Once the magnetic field is cutting the secondary coil, then the secondary coil will also generate a current here, pass through the coil. This lamp will be light up. You may have a question. If the lamp did a voltage to pass through with current, why don't straight away using the AC voltage pass through the lamp? Why need to use a transformer? Because this voltage might not be suitable for the lamp. The function of the transformer is to change the voltage. Let's say the primary input is a 10 volt. The secondary output can be regulated to 100 volt. Depends on the number of turns on both primary input and secondary output. This is the formula to determine the voltage. The formula is a secondary output voltage over primary input voltage equal to number of turns in secondary coil over number of turns in primary coil. Let's say the number in primary is 10 turns and the number in the secondary is 100 turns. If the voltage of the primary input is 10 volt, then the voltage of the secondary should be cos multiplied 100 times 10 over 10, right? So should be 100 volt. The primary input is a fewer numbers of turns. But the secondary is a much more numbers of turns, so it is a step up transformer. On the other hand, if the primary input has many turns of the coil and the output is fewer turns of the coil, then this is a step down transformer. Let's say secondary has by turn and the primary input has 20 turn of the coils. If the input is 100 volt, what is the output of the secondary? The output of the secondary should be 
100 times 5 over 20. This input is 100 volt. And 5, 4. So, the output should be 25 volt. The ratio between input and output is uh, 4 to 1. Because the number of turns is uh, also 4 to 1. This is the theory of the transformer. The transformer can be stepped up or can be stepped down. The step up transformer, as I say that, can be 10 volt. Primary input is 10 volt. And the secondary output is uh, 100 volt. The ratio is uh, 1 to 10. This is a step up transformer. The step up transformer has some function, like the power station wants to step up this voltage to very high power from maybe 230 volt, step up to 230,000 volt. Why the power station needs to step up the, this voltage to so high voltage? There is a reason I will explain on the next video. Then after that, when transfer to our homes using the step down transformer to transfer that the two three zero thousand volt transfer back to two hundred and thirty volt. The step down transformer also have some other functions, like this one is a power adapter. Inside got one step down transformer. It, the input voltage is uh, 230 volt. Two hundred and thirty volt. We will step down to twelve volt. Because uh, most of the portable TV or portable DVD also using this kind of the adapter. So on the next video, I will talk about the power station to step up and step down the power before transport to our home. See you on the next video. Bye bye.